What do you do for relaxation? You said you studied karate. karate. <laughs> <laughs> if you can relax doing this, I don't know. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. Elvis was awarded the black belt in 1960, all the way up to the eighth degree in August 1974. Ed Parker says that that was like an honorary degree belt, but uh, Elvis often said that he, if he wasn't in music, he would love to train karate and teach full time. You realize, oh, this guy was one of the very first real superstars. Like, yeah. there was no roadmap. How, yeah. how did this guy learn how to behave? Yeah. He's smiling, high as a kite. Now check this out. Look at this. Karate. St the guy's just laying on the ground. He stomps on his stomach. He goes knee to belly. That's legit. And look at this. Claws the eyes and the, and the mouth at the same time. And then he's, they're like, okay, you're done? He's like, no, no, no. Hold on a second, man. I got some other ideas. Hold on. Hold on. Puts his hand up. No. Watch this. Stay close. Look at that. <laughs> I got some karate moves. It's amazing because all my life I had always heard, yeah. Uh, Elvis was a black belt under Ed Parker because Ed Parker when I was a kid was a legitimate Karate instructor like everybody knew who Ed Parker in was. Los Angeles in 1974 Elvis got the idea to do really one of the first Documentaries on karate. I mean, okay, so Elvis first started karate in 1960 and if you notice in his movies in the 50s His fight scenes were all you know punching all that stuff but in the 60s, even starting with GI Blues, Elvis started doing karate movements, and I'm sure a lot of the American public was not too familiar with karate, because now it's very big. But back in the day, you didn't really start hearing about karate until like Bruce Lee became popular, Chuck Norris, that kind of stuff. Now everybody knows, but back then, Elvis was one of the first people to really get it going. And Elvis could maybe also take credit for how far it's come, you know? And this movie would have really cemented Elvis as one of the forerunners of karate in America, this documentary. Um, he started it in 1974. He was an eighth degree black belt, and he had some skill, like he had some moves. Like some of the footage um, from the documentary that was filmed was Elvis kind of messing around, going through the motions a little bit. He was more there to instruct and uh, rather than give demonstrations of everything. That's why he had uh, other people there. Now the filming here was done in 1973 and 4. Um, Elvis had a budget put together of about $125,000 to shoot this documentary. He was going to loan his image to it, and that's really what he was doing here. That's why he's in so much of it, so he could draw attention uh, get the world to watch and see the benefits of the martial arts. So the movie was supposed to be called The New Gladiators and it was supposed to depict students in their training and taking it all the way to tournaments and uh, I remember in Jerry Schilling's book that uh, there were a bunch of students at the bottom of a mountain that zooms up to Elvis at the top of the mountain and um, you know like saying you know we're starting this movement and come with us. I'm taking the lead for it. It didn't fall through. I was, ha was having some health problems. So he needed to lose some weight, like he said, and it just didn't take off. So after Elvis died, it was stored. And actually in 2001, it was found in West Hollywood in a truck, in the bed of a truck. And it was found with some other memorabilia and they remastered it in 2002 and finally released it in 2009. And that's the footage that we have now. So it was all supposed to come together. It would have been great if it was done. We do have some nice footage from it. He had big things in mind and I think it would have really
gave Elvis the respect in the karate world that fans give him. And let's not forget in 1968, that big karate segment that he had there. Like you had to think like people during that time were like, karate, what's this guy doing? And you know, we see Elvis do the karate demonstrations um, at the end of uh, Suspicious Minds as early as 1969, 1970. <laughs>